Are you ready to dive into the mysterious world of the past together with us? Into a world that has presented archaeologists with insurmountable hurdles for centuries? For although some artifacts have already helped us shed some light on the historical darkness, others are so mysterious that even the most renowned experts are at their wit's end. But what do we know about the origin, meaning, and purpose of these mysterious finds? Stay tuned and find out together with us. Here are 10 unique discoveries that researchers are gnashing their teeth over. Have you ever heard of an archaeological artifact that just doesn't fit into a known context? Feel free to hit the like and subscribe buttons and tell us about it in the comments below. The most exciting and informative comments will be rewarded with a heart and pinned at the top. Saxay Huaman When it comes to ancient buildings, whose backgrounds are still hidden today, the mighty pyramids of Giza immediately come to mind. But we must not forget that the Inca fortress of Sacsayhuaman in Peru is still overshadowed by enormous question marks. Even the name fortress is far from undisputed. Because of its special design, some researchers see it more as a kind of sanctuary that did not serve defensive purposes. Built in the 15th century over a period of 70 years, a central question ultimately arises. How did the estimated 20,000 workers manage to erect the so-called Cyclopean walls? To do this, the Incas had to heave irregularly shaped blocks, some of which weighed several tons, onto each other with precision, and, mind you, without the use of cement or mortar. The preceding stone transport also causes headaches for modern researchers. The individual components had to be brought from distant quarries through impassable terrain. However, since the Incas knew neither the wheel nor iron tools, experts assumed that they used a combination of ropes and ramps for this purpose. Earth Stables By definition, earth tunnels are man-made underground, undeveloped passage systems. So far, so telling. Except for the fact that the artificial excavations were not used to house animals, we don't know much about their true purpose. What is certain is that the structures were created in the Middle Ages in a number of different places, most notably in southern Germany, Austria, and the Czech Republic. While superstition says that we are dealing with the dwellings of goblins and ghosts, the more earthly approaches focus on places of worship and refuge. However, neither one nor the other theory can be conclusively proven. Takaxic Calix Lawaka Head The rediscovery of a Roman terracotta head can confidently be called an archaeological sensation. The fact that the find was recorded in Mexico, however, is rather a historical anomaly. But in fact, in 1933, experts stumbled upon an ancient pyramid a good 60 kilometers from Mexico City. In the midst of the valuable grave goods, the aforementioned artifact was slumbering. Its age was estimated at 1,800 years. But how can this be at all? If one follows the official historiography, the ancient Romans never set foot in Central America. Rather, the first visit of the Europeans to Mexico is dated to the year 1519. It so happens that some people see the terracotta head as proof that the ancient Europeans were in active exchange with the Native Americans. However, this discovery is accompanied by another mystery. The other grave goods are about 1300 years younger than the Roman skull. What events took place in between is an unsolved mystery. The Swiss Clock in the Ming Tomb History buffs know that the Ming Dynasty was in power in China from 1368 to 1644. But then, how is it possible that a modern Swiss ring clock was discovered in a 400-year-old tomb from that very era? What in and of itself sounds completely contradictory became a puzzling reality in 2008. What seemed particularly mysterious was the fact that archaeologists found no evidence that the tomb had been opened in the recent past. The writing on the back leaves no doubt that the small artifact is connected with Switzerland. The problem is that, at the time of the Ming Dynasty, Switzerland did not even exist as a nation. So are we really dealing with solid proof of the existence of time travel? Or did the object get into the tomb in a different way? Feel free to write us your guesses in the comments below. Giant Finger That from time to time human remains are recovered is in and of itself nothing unusual. That the finger in question is 38 centimeters long, however, is. 
How big must the rest of the body have been? In 1988, during a private research stay in Egypt, the Swiss Gregor Spori met a man who claimed to be a member of an ancient family of tomb robbers. A brief conversation and the payment of $300 later, Spori was then allowed to admire the strange structure with his own eyes and capture it with his camera. As a result, the unusually long finger was strangely bent, cracked in places, and covered with what looked like dried mold. Some people see in the artifact evidence that Egypt was once populated by giants in the flesh. However, since the trail of the finger was lost some time ago, further research is not currently possible. Yonaguni Monument Atlantis is not alone. Japan also has its very own sunken city. Although in this case, we even know exactly where it is. But what the so-called Yonaguni Monument is in detail remains unanswered so far. What is certain is that the underwater formation was tracked down by a diver in 1985. The exact angles and the straight edges immediately suggested the urgent conclusion that it is a man-made construct. On the other hand, there is the theory that the monument is an erosion platform that was once on land and was formed by the rising sea level. This is contradicted by the holes which are commonly interpreted as column foundations and the careful arrangement of the terraces. Supporters of the corresponding theories estimate that the builder culture existed about eight to 10,000 years ago, an estimation which stands in the glaring contrast to our past historical picture. Thus, most humans lived at that time as nomadic hunter and collectors who manufactured at the most simple ceramic objects. Stone balls from Costa Rica Discovered in the 1930s in the course of clearing work, the stone balls of Costa Rica are among the largest archaeological artifacts discovered so far in South America. The principle applies. Not all spheres are the same. While some of these objects are only a few centimeters in size, others are over 2 meters in diameter and weigh 15 tons. However, it is uncertain when and by whom the objects were made. A hot candidate are the ancestors of the Boruca Indians. Also, the question about the intended purpose remains unanswered so far. Some creative minds see in the stone spheres the work of extraterrestrial visitors. Others suspect they are in some connection with Stonehenge or the Moai statues on Easter Island. Colombian Gold Flyers On December 17, 1903, the Wright brothers opened a new chapter in human history, the era of airplanes. However, mysterious artifacts, such as the Bird of Sakata or the Colombian Gold Flyers, fuel the theories that ancient people already took to the skies. However, the analysis of modern experts who examined the artifacts for their possible suitability for flight did not paint a consistent picture. While some scientists came to the conclusion that we cannot be dealing here with replicas of flying machines. Others registered conspicuous aerodynamic elements that do not exist in this form in nature. London Hammer If you will, the London Hammer mystery can be summed up as follows. How in the world can a tool from the late 19th century get into a 400 million year old rock? Are we possibly dealing with the legacy of aliens who visited our planet in prehistoric times? Was the artifact left behind by a time traveler, or can the rock inclusion be explained by the highly soluble minerals that formed a so-called concretion around the hammer? Well, we simply do not know. Officially, it is said in this connection only that so far no radiocarbon dating was accomplished, and or that over it nothing is known. Sabu Disk At first glance, one might think that the Sabu Disk is a component of a modern machine. However, this assumption starts to crumble when we look at the age of the artifact, discovered in Saqqara in 1936. It actually dates back to the Old Dynasty, from 3000 to 2800 BC. Why the ancient Egyptian official Sabu was buried with this of all grave goods is unclear, just like the background of the unusually shaped disc with a drilled hole. Some researchers see in the find a special oil lamp. Others consider it more likely that it had no practical use and served purely decorative purposes. In this regard, when we enter the world of pre-astronautics, we are confronted with terms such as steering wheel, propeller, 
Okay, people, and now it's your turn. What do you think about the presented findings? Do they prove us that our common historiography does not correspond to the truth? Or can their backgrounds be explained differently? Drop us your thoughts, suggestions, and feedback on today's video in the comments below. Also, remember to give us a thumbs up and a subscription to stay up to date from now on. And with that, thanks for watching, take care, and see you next time.